Bonjour, fellow classmates. This is Natalie Ortiz reporting from the future, where the 20s style has made its comeback and blue bobs are in, of course. Today, on this special segment of I'm Done, I'm Leaving, I'll be talking to you guys about Andre Perugia, footwear designer from the 1920s. So please make yourself comfortable and enjoy the show. Born in Nice, France in 1893 and son of an Italian shoemaker, Andre Perugia at a young age demonstrated a strong inclination towards invention and design. At the age of 16, he opened his first shoe shop. Perugia's shoe style attracted the interest of many women, especially the wife of the owner of the Negresco Hotel, which at that time was the most fashionable hotel in Nice. She convinced her husband to let Andre Perugia open a boutique at the hotel. Couturist Paul Poiret noticed his customers wearing Perugia's shoes with his dresses and immediately traveled to Nice to meet Perugia. He offered him a setup in Paris, but the war disrupted his plans and Perugia went off to work in an airplane factory where he learned more about engineering and machinery. By 1921, Perugia's dream of opening a boutique in Paris became a reality. Perugia's extravagant styles captured the journalist's attention. It was very easy for Poiret to promote the young man, and Perugia did the rest. The house of Perugia was filled with top clientele, including Miss Tanguette, Josephine Baker, queens, princesses, and aristocrats. By 1927, Perugia crossed the Atlantic to capture the wealth of the American clientele. Here, he introduced his new Padova brand, distributed in the United States by Saks Fifth Avenue. His foreign sales also grew into England. By 1936, the Queen of England paid him the honor of an order during her visit to Paris. Perugia was aware of his limitations, which motivated him to keep raising up the bar through technical research. In 1942, he invented the articulated wooden heel, which thrived during the Second World War, which he received a patent for. And by 1956, he also invented an interchangeable heel system. Perugia displayed originality in the art of the shoe from his very first creation. Orientalism was one of his main inspirations, and it was surely under Poiret's influence that Perugia emerged himself into this theme. He also looked closer to home for inspiration, like the Venetian masks. The medieval period also inspired his taste for the rustic shoe. Poiret also turned Perugia into an art collector. The geometric ornaments of his shoe express a cubist aesthetic. Around 1955, he reached the pinnacle of his career with a collection created in the United States. Each shoe was inspired by a 20th century painter like Picasso, Brock, Matisse, and others. After World War II, Perugia placed his talents in the services of Dior, Givenchy, and Chanel. He also collaborated with designer Elsa Scaparelli and I. Miller. Perugia died in Nice on November 22, 1977. Even though some of his designs were drawn from the past and mined Orientalism for inspiration, this exclusive shoemaker's status as an innovator is confirmed by the results of his technical and aesthetic research. 